So I'm going to bump it up to, we're still in the race mode, but I'm going to turn it all the way up to nine on that mode and see if it makes a difference or not. We're on level five now. And you can change this on the fly while you're moving as well. Um, don't know if I said that, but you don't have to, you don't really have to stop and pull over anything, but you can change it on the roll. Good God. Good. <laughs> yep. It... That was nine. Oh, well, she getting down, buddy. She's screaming. That Hemi is running. Was that a little bit more touchy? That, that was a lot more touchy. <laughs> we'll, we'll do the uh, rolling 60 again here in a minute. Okay. What's up, Mopar fam? Today, we have a special treat. We have my best friend's 2012 Dodge Ram 1500 crew cab, obviously with the 5.7 Hemi in it. And this truck is completely bone stock except for exhaust. And he is running my actual old Mopar cold air intake setup. Um, other than that, the truck is completely stock, no tuner, no custom tunes, nothing. It is a bone stock truck and today we're gonna be installing the war pedal on it and test it out, get his reaction, see what he thinks about the pedal. Um, he's never had a pedal commander or anything on any other type of vehicle, let alone this truck again is stock. So he's had this truck since brand new and we're gonna try to wake it up with the war pedal and see what it does for this truck, if it makes it feel a little more peppy, if the pedal feels better like it should. Obviously this device works, as you know, I've installed it on my personal Durango and it made a huge difference. So I'm curious what it does on the Ram trucks. So we're gonna get to it and get this guy installed. All right guys, we're gonna go over what's in the box and what you need to do to start off with to install the roar pedal. So in the box, it's pretty simple. You have user guide of how to install it. And step one, and this is very important, what you need to do, right down here, it's in red letters, is before you do anything or un unplug anything on the vehicle, you need to let the vehicle sit with the key out for 15 minutes. And that is so that it doesn't throw a check engine light or have any issues when you unplug stuff. Um, if the vehicle has not sat for 15 minutes with the key out, if you go to unplug the throttle pedal, too early it can set a check engine light sometimes and then you'll have to clear that code before you continue um, so just keep in mind you know read the instructions do what it says other than that it's very simple what's in here you have the wiring harness right here and this connector is going to go to the pedal the other one is going to plug into the factory harness and then you have the actual device which is nothing more than basically a cell phone connection that plugs into the harness as so. So pretty straightforward. All the, that's all there is to it. So we're going to go to the truck and start plugging in the harness to the throttle pedal. All right, so we are in the floorboard of the Ram and I'm going to show you what you have to unplug on the throttle pedal. So as we get up here, and bear with me, it's kind of hard to do this with the camera in one hand and one free hand, but... So here is the throttle pedal, gas pedal. Right on top of the pedal, guys, you'll see that connector. It's a gray connector. Right here. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to unplug that guy. If you reach up there, it's got a little button you got to press. So you're going to press the button and it just unplugs simple as that so we're going to get that done all right so we have our harness down here and on the harness you have two big connectors this connector right here is going to plug onto the throttle pedal or the gas pedal itself so the connector we just unplugged right there we're going to plug this connector into the top of it and then this connector, the big long flat one, is going to plug into the factory wiring harness right here. So the plug that we unplugged from the throttle pedal 
we'll plug into the bit uh, the big flat plug pretty simple so we're gonna do that real quick and then we will pretty much be done so hang tight all right so we got all of our connectors plugged up as you can see we have the roar pedal wiring harness wired up to the pedal and the factory vehicle harness so the last connection we gotta make is the wire that runs to the connector that hooks to the roar pedal screen device um, you can route that any way you want route, run it up to the dash um, wherever you like that is your preference we're just going to run it up here by the cup holders real quick so we can plug this thing in and go test it out so hang tight we're going to get the screen and plug it in real quick all right guys so we got the wiring harness for the roar pedal hooked up down there last thing we gotta do is plug in the actual roar pedal device which is a screen and it is nothing more than a cell phone connection so we're going to plug that in real quick and everything is installed now for temporary we're just going to leave the cable kind of hanging over here by the cup holder um, as we go test this thing out but the kit does come with some like 3m backing tape that you can stick on the screen device and you know double side sticky tape it to your dash somewhere or wherever you would like it that way it can just kind of stay uh you know stay put otherwise you can leave it like this and just throw it in a cup holder um, you can set it to whatever you want and unplug it and throw it in the dash it's whatever you want to do but other than that we're ready to program this thing so the first mode we're going to do or try out is the sport mode and that tends to be the favorite for most people it's just daily driving the sport mode is a one-to-one -one ratio as if you had an old uh, style car that had a throttle cable um, older vehicles had throttle cables that ran from the gas pedal to the engine and of course if you move the pedal the car moved because it had no choice um, everything today all the new vehicles are all throttled by wire so they have a, a pretty terrible throttle lag or delay hence the reason a lot of people install these devices so again we're going to try the sport mode first and we're going to get my buddy here ryan well, we're going to go down the street, drive the truck, see what he thinks, see if he can feel a difference, and his opinion. Again, he's had the truck new since 2012, and this truck has no tuner on it. It's bone stock except for the exhaust and the cold air intake. So we're going to program this thing real quick. We're going to turn the key on. And the sport mode reading on the screen will be HA. And you can increase that, um, that mode up to seven to nine times. So we're gonna go to HA on the device. You'll hit the mode button. And there it is, HA3. So again, the arrow buttons will increase that mode up or down. So you can increase the, the intensity on this particular mode up to I believe it's nine times yes so you can go you can turn it up a little bit or you can turn it down very nice so we'll try it out at five and go from there so sport mode one to one pedal ratio so now let's go for a test drive all right guys we are backing out of the shop we have the device on the sport mode on HA5 and we're going to go drive around a little bit here. And see uh, see what old Ryan thinks about it. I know the sport mode is not a huge difference but usually you can tell a little bit. Can you feel anything different a little bit? Not quite yet. Yeah, I've, it's a little increased response as soon as I hit the pedal. Yeah, it's not a massive difference on the sport mode. It basically just makes the vehicle feel like it should have felt from the factory without like a lazy feeling is the best way to describe that mode. Uh, well, I mean, as soon as you touch, you just barely touch it, you can feel the it's starting to move rather than touching it, waiting a second, and then it's starting to move, even on the, right. the lowest setting. Right. 
that's the best thing with these things and you know keep in mind guys you know this these you know these pedal devices they don't add horsepower you know they, they don't technically make your truck faster or anything but they make it feel faster um, just by the fact that when you tell it to do something or you hit the gas pedal the freaking thing moves you know it does what you're telling it to do um, when you're telling it to do it so um, but dyno and in your mind the truck will feel so much faster because it's no more lag there's no delay it's just night and day difference and we're on the baby mode this is the sport mode for basically a daily driver somebody just wanting their pedal to feel the right way without a you know without a lag to it um, again we'll go down here we're gonna up these modes we'll try out the sport plus mode which definitely does make a big difference um, makes it much more touchier and then we'll try out the race mode which is a huge difference especially when I put it on my Durango and uh, I'm sure he'll notice a heck of a difference on those but yeah that's on level five yeah, I mean, I, I honestly feel a, a difference in it. Yeah, the best because time... before I'd hit it, and you'd wait a second, and then you could feel it starting to go, but now you touch it, and you actually start to feel it making the adjustment. Right. And the, the most time you feel it, too, is usually from, like, a dead stop. Like, if you're at a red light, and you're idling, light turns green or whatever, and you start to go, you'll notice, like, the throttle pedal, as soon as you start to press it or touch it, the truck reacts, you know, the, the engine reacts and it starts to go. We'll, we'll find out really right here since we're at, yeah, a, red we're at light. a red light right here. It might be a good idea for me to put my seatbelt on too. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you're new, um, stop it in. Please hit that subscribe button. Help the channel out. Whoa, damn. Yep. <laughs> a little bit she, touchy. She went. I tell you, this truck sounds good too, buddy. What what exhaust is on here again? Uh, this is a header or a cat back exhaust pipe with Flowmaster. What was it? Uh, Super 88s. Okay. Single in, single out. So I got two of them on each side. One on each side. That's right. You did like it's dual exhaust yep. actually it's real dual I exhaust. made it into true dual yeah it's true dual exhaust coming off each actual stock manifold that's right the truck sounds good it's not it's not raspy it's not really loud it's just got a deep mellow tone to it, it sounds good it's great for a daily but that sport mode on that light right there this dude yeah. was trying to take off <laughs> it, it launched <laughs> it launched heck yeah i wasn't expecting that well we'll pull over here somewhere when we get a chance and we are going to let's see We'll go up to the next mode, which is going to be the Sport Plus mode, and we'll try that out. Sport Plus mode, they say, is a favorite among spirited drivers. I'm um, looking to get up and go. It's going to be a lot more peppy and really get the thing moving. This mode allows you to accelerate a lot quicker than the Eco and the Sport modes. Um, we're currently in the Sport mode, guys, and I didn't mention it, but there's also an Eco mode that is a mode to try to help out gas mileage um, that will actually kind of make it it'll kind of feel like stock it'll be kind of mushy and uh, eh, a lot of people don't really care for it let's just say that but the sport mode the sport plus mode seems to be the bee's knees and then the race mode um, you know when you want to have some fun or you want to spin some tires it'll definitely do it for you so we're gonna pull over here in a minute and we're gonna turn it up and go to the Sport Plus mode. All right guys, we are pulled over real quick and we are gonna change it to the Sport Plus mode, which the mode on the screen for Sport Plus mode is FU. And no, I'm not just saying FU, that is literally the mode in the book. So we're gonna hit the mode, the M button, which is the mode function, and we're gonna to go to FU and there it is, it's on FU3. This is the Sport Plus mode. And we can turn that up to level nine on that mode if we want to, or turn it down to level one. Again, each mode has nine levels of adjustments, but we're gonna leave it on the FU3 function to test this out real quick and see how it goes. He should notice a pretty big difference on this mode. It's gonna be a lot more peppy. 
Um, it won't be as touchy as the race mode, but it's it's going to wake it up. That's for sure, especially the Hemi. And we are coming up to a red light right here. You know, we tested the last one on the five. Yep. I'm going to bump it up to the five. So we're on FU5. We're going to do Sport Plus mode level five and see what that does. We'll do level five on every mode. <laughs> yep, that's a little bit more kickback. Yeah. So, between the two modes, I know we haven't drove a lot on this Sport Plus mode yet, but does it seem a little bit more touchy to you, or what do you think the, so The far? touchiness is about the same, but I felt a little bit more pushback into the seat from the get-go. Right. I mean, I could feel it on the, on the first Sport mode and everything. It threw me back a little bit further than how it was stock, but on this setting, it's pushed me a little bit further back. Right. And when we were back on the sport mode, the first go around, you were saying that you noticed like instead of actually kind of pushing the pedal with oh, your yeah. foot like you used to, like now you're just kind of driving it with your toe, like yeah. you're not having to press it as much no more, right? Stock with nothing on there, having to pretty much use full foot to push the pedal to get it to start going. I've been noticing I'm using just my big toe pretty much in my shoe. It's right a lot easier to get it to start going not a lot of effort yeah and that's and the way he put it guys is the is the best way i could even uh explain the difference um when you're stock you're pressing the pedal down a lot more to get going and get the vehicle moving um, when you put on these pedal devices um, or the roar pedal what you're going to notice is you know as before when you're stock and you're pressing it a lot you know a, a good bit to get going the the pedal device is actually you're not having to press it very much you might be pressing it just a little bit now and it is reacting and the more you increase the sensitivity on the roar pedal the less you're gonna have to press that gas pedal and that's pretty much what he's saying is now he's not really having to put his foot in it as much he's, he's just pretty much driving it with his toe and just kind of getting onto it it's makes a big difference it's hard to explain, but it works, that's for sure. Um, but we're cruising right now, 50, 55 mile an hour, and just, just kind of cruising. And it's, you know, drives like stock, drives like normal. It just feels a little peppier, right? Yeah, a little more, a lot more response from stock, pretty much. Yeah, and we, we got a couple of cars ahead of us right now, so we really can't go any faster or go anywhere. But um, just driving right here and just kind of hitting it a little bit does it feel like it just moves quickly huh it starts into that response a yeah, lot a lot just, easier just than it does it. before yeah it just it just reacts quicker best way i can put it reaction time 10 times better with the roar pedal no questions asked um so the mode i'm sure everybody's waiting for is the race mode that's going to be the next mode we try out here and we'll do it on the level five as well um so we'll do the race mode level five and see what that does um, when we get a chance to pull over here and test it out. And here's a gas station, so we're gonna try it out right now. And race mode is, looks like 5U is the display on the screen, 5U. So we're gonna go 5U5 for level five of that mode um, since we've been testing everything in level five so we're going to go to the mode button and find the 5u there it is 5u3 so we're going to turn that up to the five so now we are 5u5 race mode and it should be pretty touchy um he's babying it right now just to get used to how quick it's going to react but it should be pretty finicky Yeah. <laughs> you don't it's, have to press it down as much at all, no, do you? No, it, it tried to go into high gear 
just barely touching it yeah a lot more than the uh the last mode oh yeah yeah the race mode and they clarify the race mode is the most extreme mode it's high performance response allows your vehicle to accelerate like a race car that's what they write in the book um and that's basically the way to put it is it is you know the intensity is turned up a lot so i mean as soon as the pedal starts to move down it is reacting very very quick and very very touchy so um it's just kind of a thing you know if you run it in that mode all the time just get you know you want to get used to it because the throttle pedal is very very touchy um it doesn't take much to press it and the truck or the vehicle is going to go that is for sure um but they you know daily in it we're running 60 miles an hour you know once you get used to the feeling you know how to operate the throttle pedal it's not a big deal or anything but it's very touchy makes a huge difference um and you'll notice it the most when you just press the pedal or if you're at a dead stop and you go to take off at a red light or whatever it's going to react very quickly well we're going to see about that rolling see if it has that lag that it normally does that while you're rolling you hit the pedal second delayed response before it starts to kick in we're going to see right. if it still does that right now all right not as bad still has a little bit of a delay but it picks up a lot quicker than it did before on stop that's good so heck yeah it, it and goes. this is a big truck this is a big truck too this is the 4x4 crew cab and you know this is not a light truck but this truck drives very well and it's not slow like this truck gets down and moves pretty good um, again it's got exhaust system it's got true dual exhaust and he's got a cold air intake on it and right now he's at the, the war pedal but other than that's bone stock no custom tuning um, nothing like that no long tubes no throttle body no anything this is a stock truck besides exhaust and an intake um, so I'm gonna bump it up to we're still in the race mode but I'm gonna turn it all the way up to nine on that mode and see if it makes a difference or not we're on level five now and you can change this on the fly while you're moving as well um, don't know if I said that but you don't have to you don't really have to stop and pull over anything but you can change it on the roll good god good <laughs> yep it, that was nine Boy, she getting down buddy she's screaming that hemi is running is that a little bit more touchy that, that was a lot more touchy <laughs> We'll do the uh, rolling 60 again here in a minute. Okay. Yeah, I love getting people with stock vehicles and put this thing on there and getting the reaction because it is, it's is—it's—it's a good one. When I put it on the Durango, because I've never had one of these pedal devices, when I put it on my Durango, it was a massive difference on the Durango because my Durango is the six cylinder. And... You know it has an eight speed so it's not slow but the six cylinder is not the hemi obviously and this pedal device made that six cylinder feel you know not like the hemi but very close it woke it up a lot so worth it for a six cylinder vehicle hands down it made a big big difference on the six cylinder but it makes a massive difference on the hemi as well all right so we're rolling down the highway we're doing about 60 miles an hour right now guys um we got a car ahead of us but he wants to try to punch it again now that we're in race mode level nine which is as turned up as this device will go and see uh how it reacts from a rolling 60. so whenever he's ready and we have a chance we're gonna let the old hemi eat a lot quicker a lot yeah. quicker response yeah i noticed the last time we did it on the five it it picked up a lot better than stock but it it, it was like a little you know kind of like a little hiccup there but on nine it seems to just kind of go smooth <laughs> butter just kind of go definitely a lot better and i'm sure on the other modes like sport and the sport plus mode if we turned them all the way up to level nine um they would probably be much better as well but I figure going on level five, you know, is kind of in the middle of all those modes and will be a good, well, I tell you what, it's, pe it's peppy, man. When you it's... stop and go, it is like, I'm the passenger, it's... so I'm not driving. And I feel like I'm like, just kind of like, whoo, 
<laughs> just you, getting thrown in this seat over here. You feel it a lot more from a stop and go than yes. you do from a rolling. Yes. But geez, <laughs> it's very touchy. Yes. I mean, <laughs> that response is almost immediate. Yeah. It, it's like it's almost like getting a real. You know, it, it feels like getting a tune on your car or your vehicle. It, you know, like I said, it's not adding horsepower or making it any faster. It just makes it feel much better. Um, so the feeling you get is it feels faster, no doubt. Um, it gives you that enjoyment of yes. having a fast vehicle. Yes. There's nothing worse than having a V8. You know, you buy the Hemi, you get the V8, and you mash the gas pedal, and it's kind of like, oh, here we go. Now we're going to go. You know, you, the roar pedal, you put it on there, and it feels like the Hemi should. It is going to go. No questions. And this thing, you know, this is a 4x4 crew cab, and it is rolling out, guys. Not going to lie. He just put brand new tires on this truck, but I'm sure if we didn't have brand new tires, if we wanted to smoke these jokers off in the race mode, it would do it without a problem. But heck yeah, guys. I hope the video helps you guys out if you've been looking into the roar pedal device. Um, this is vehicle number two that I've tried it out on. Um, again, this is Ryan. This is my best friend. This is his 2012 Ram 1500 Hemi 4x4 Crew Cab and stock truck. And he can tell a huge difference in this thing. He's had the truck since 2012. It's only got 40, what'd you say, 46,000 on it? Uh, 47,000. 47,000 miles on this truck. And he knows everything about the truck. So, you know, this is not a made up story. His opinion of it, of all the modes, what do you think is your favorite one? Uh, my favorite is the race. The race uh, mode? I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'm, I'm a sucker for speed, and, I mean, that just gives it, even though it's not tuning the vehicle and making it faster, it makes it feel faster. So it right. gives you that yeah. enjoyment feeling. It definitely does. It makes the Hemi feel like the Hemi, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> That's for sure. But, all right, guys, I think we're going to kill it right there. Hopefully, like I said, the video helps you guys out. Um, as always... You know, if you, if, you, if you got anything from this video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, throw a comment out there. Let me know what you think. And uh, also, like I said, I got some new hoodies up on the merch store. Link is in the description. Go check out the store. Uh, we got shirts, tank tops, everything. And that's it. So until the next one, guys, stay safe out there. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.